In this video, we're going to be going over complex numbers. So let's talk first about what the standard form of complex number is. So our standard form is going to be a plus bi, where a is our real number, and the b is our imaginary number. So the bi is our imaginary number. So what does it mean to be a pure imaginary number? So to be a pure imaginary number, it means that you are just imaginary. There is no real number being added or subtracted. It's just bi, and your b cannot be equal to zero. So what are two complex numbers going to end up being equal to each other? So for example, if we have something like a plus bi, and we want to know when is that going to be equal to c plus di, that's going to happen if our b is the same number as d, or our b equals d, and if our a equals c. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some examples where we're going to work with our imaginary numbers and our complex numbers. So we're going to perform the indicated operation, and then we're going to write the result in standard form. So remember, our standard form is that a plus bi, right? That's our standard form. So what's important to note is that real numbers can only go with real numbers, and imaginary numbers can only go with imaginary numbers when we're adding and subtracting. So here, we see that we have a real number here, and a real number here, and a complex number here. Let's do this. It's a positive complex number. And then a negative complex number there. So we're going to begin by performing the addition operation. So we'll be able to put our 7 with our 5 and get a 12. And then we're going to be able to put our 3 with the negative 4i and get minus i. And we've written it in standard notation because we don't put the 1 there. We just leave it as 12 minus i. And that's our final answer. So as we come to look at letter B, we have negative 1 plus the square root of negative 8 plus 8 minus the square root of negative 50. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to simplify first our radicals. So here, we'll take the square root, so we're going to go 2 and 4, 2 and 2, and so this will be a negative 2, oh, excuse me, it will be a 2i radical 2. Because in the past, when we've talked about if you have a negative on the inside, you can't have that. It's not a real number. So you're right. It's an imaginary number, and that's why we get the 2i. So our 2i, right? So it's a 2i square root of 2. So that's our imaginary number. So we'll bring down our plus sign there, and we'll bring down that negative 1. So this becomes negative 1 plus 2i square root of 2. Then we'll bring down our plus sign. And now we need to break down our 50. So we have 25 and 2, and then 5 and 5. And so this will become a 5i, and it's an i because it's a negative on the inside. And it's a square root. And then square root 2. We'll bring down the minus sign. We'll bring down the 8. And now we can do this problem. And our indicated operation is addition. Again, remember, real numbers have to go with real numbers. So negative 1 plus 8 is 7. And then here, we can only add our radicals if they're the matching. So here we have a radical 2, and here we have a radical 2. And so we know that we can put those together. So we'll have a radical 2 in our answer. So the question becomes, what is positive 2i minus 5i? And we're going to get a minus 3i radical 2. Let's see if I can write that a little bit better. And we have it written in standard form because the real number is in the beginning and the imaginary number is in the back. So one way that I like to think about how do I remember how to write standard form is that when somebody has an imaginary friend, the imaginary friend is usually always following that person. So the imaginary thing follows the real thing. Let's do a couple more examples. So here we have 2i plus negative 3 minus 4i 
minus the quantity negative 3 minus 3i. Three so we're going to go ahead and we'll be able to bring down our 2i. When we distribute our positive, nothing really changes there. So we'll just go ahead and bring down our negative 3 minus 4i. But here, that negative, when we distribute that, that's going to give us a positive 3 and a positive 3i. So we're going to put the real numbers together. And negative 3 and positive 3, they're going to cancel each other out. Then we put our imaginary numbers together. So we have 2 minus 4 plus 3. And that's going to give us a value of i. So this is a, a pure imaginary number here because it's just the imaginary number. Let's go ahead and do this next one. So here we're actually going to need to re simplify those. So let's see, the square root of 4 is a perfect square, but because it's negative on the inside, we write that as a 2i. And it's a 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. We've been told that we're going to be multiplying, so we're going to multiply that. And the square root of 16 is 4, but because there's a negative on the inside of a square root, that's going to be a 4i. And 2i times 4i, so we're going to take 2 times 4 is 8, and i times i is i squared. And then something to remember is that i squared is worth the value negative 1. So here we actually have 8 times negative 1, which gives us an answer of 8.